WTFI GOITW news you can trust on an island you can't with lead anchor Todd Tabernacle and Turner Thompson, also an anchor. Good morning and welcome to WTFI GOITW news 7 at 8. I'm Todd Tabernacle. And I'm Turner Thompson. News that matters. Big Pine. Two divorces turn into three dogs and a Camry real quick. Real quick. More at 10. But first, on this week's top story, another gruesome shark attack mm. hit Key West this week and another successful effort from a local government officials to quiet those local reporters. But we are an independent news station and you cannot silence us here at WTFI GOITW. There's no amount of money that will keep us from telling you what's really going on. We are here for the people of Key West, and there's nothing that they can do to keep us from delivering the truth. He, uh, <clears throat> he sustained minor injuries. He walked to the ambulance, so I guess he's fine. Huh. Hey, moron. Turns out that blurring out your license plate when listing your vehicle for sale online is completely pointless especially when you're giving your address out in the listing for people to come by and see it. A lot of uncertainty with the state of real estate in 2023. Everyone's asking the same questions. What do I do? What do I do? What do you do? There's a lot of confusing terms being thrown around to confuse you and keep you confused. Like buy and sell. <laughs> what do they mean? Oh, you're serious? Uh, well, buy me. Our own Turner Thompson did a deep dive. Deep dive. Into the Key West housing market here in 2023. Turner, how is it looking out there? Well, Todd, it's a bit of a frenzy at the moment. Homeowners are scrambling to sell their houses now before the bubble bursts. And a deadly school of buyers is taking tiny bites out of every listed property, just testing for weakness. But one thing is for certain, Key West is, for the time being, a hot luxury property destination for droves of northern buffoons who just want to get their kicks in before the whole shit house goes up in flames. What about in 10 years, Turner? How is the housing market looking in 10 years? Well, in, in, in 10 years, Todd, it'll all be flooded here. With tourism? No, I mean, uh, people will be drowning. In money. No, Todd, the whole island's gonna be underwater. Another day in paradise. And now to Jayesh with the word on the street. Thanks, Jay. Key West is looking to implement new legislation which greatly restricts the amount of single-use plastic that bars and restaurants are allowed to serve. We interviewed over 50 barbacks and dishwashers from Key West restaurants who all collectively said, F And in sports this week, well, let's just go to the weather. And now to the weather with, with Tito, Tito Tapatio. Come on. How's the weather looking out there? Taco! Uh, yeah, Todd, it's, uh, it's, it's very hot and it's still continuing. Man arrested this week in Marathon for allegedly bashing his girlfriend's head through a car window. Turns out she deserved it. What? The Key West Half Marathon was this past Saturday, and runners from all over the Northeast flew down to participate. Temperatures were at a record low for the event, and some of the Key West participants froze up and fell out of trees before the race even began. Key West Pickleball Association put a new rule into effect this week. This week, there is no more electric wheelchairs allowed in league play. Guess you won't be showing up this week, Gary. F*** Gary. Do you think uh, your 
your earring holes have closed up, or can I buy you like a some ice? Well, that's it for us here at WTFI GOITW News, News 7 at 8. I'm Todd Tabernacle. And I'm Turner Thompson. Stay salty, Key West. Really got me with that sports this week, you know? Sports! Sports. Yay, sports! Go sports. Key West, known for their sports. Home team. Better than me. Sex. Uh, we have kickball. And the drunken softball league. Which I'm not sure if you can play, you know, if you have to be drunk when you show up or you drink whilst. Same you, app. You took the wrong way, because I was picturing that we make an app yeah. for men. That's what I was That thinking. give us also excuses to be dicks. Ah. Safety. Right? Yeah. Okay. yeah no, we gotta no do it. Canes. All right. Let's Where is this? There. Come on. How's the weather looking out there? Taco. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. And participants from all over the Northeast flew down to participate in the run. Participants participated. Did you get that? <laughs>